Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. Today we're at a really unique destination near Edna, Texas on Lake Texana at the Brackenridge Recreation Complex that's operated by the Lavaca Navidad River Authority. This is a two for one park visit. So stick around while we show you around Texana and Brackenridge parks and campgrounds. All right, now so you can hear me, nobody's around. <laughs> when you check in right now here at Texana or Brackenridge, it's a no contact check-in. You give them all your information ahead of time before you arrive. You come to the Brackenridge office and they have tables set out. One for Texana check-in, another for Brackenridge check-in. And you just find your packet and you're good to go. There's also a huge parking lot here with RV parking. So if you need to disconnect your tow vehicle, you can do it right here before you drive into the camping area. And yeah, we just rented some discs to go play disc golf. It was $5 for a set of discs for 24 hours. Rentals at the office here at Brackenridge. Uh, looking out the window, we have some visitors. Okay, so today is laundry day. <laughs> For those of y'all who know, we went with a smaller RV uh, so we could get into more campgrounds, but that means that we gave up the laundry that we had in our old motorhome. But at this park, this is a uh, Lavaca Navidad River Authority Park here at Texana, and their sister park, Breckenridge, is right across the street, Brackenridge is right across the street and over there they actually have laundry facilities uh, there's two different locations and each one has one washer one dryer so it seems like it's going to be real safe and we're excited to get to do some laundry after a month <laughs> this is comfort station number one <laughs> and then we have a view of our neighborly deer right here behind us Okay, so now we're at the putt-putt course, which is right next to where we're getting our uh, laundry done so we can watch our laundry. And of course, we've got some neighbors there. And how cool is this, that there's a putt-putt course here. This is the Breckenridge side. And again, your codes to get into the gates work on both sides. So you get to use the amenities from both sides. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna play a little, little putt putt here. Wow, that was a lot of fun. That was a fun, challenging little nine hole course. Yeah, we played it like three times <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. Absolutely, and now the laundry is done or should be done in about 15 minutes. So good way to spend the time while the laundry was running. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and the washers and dryers here have worked great. So really happy about that. Yeah, what was it? A dollar twenty-five to wash and a dollar fifty to dry. Is that right? Uh, I think that's right. Yep. yep. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. Very nice. All right. So today we're gonna hit the trails a little bit. There's actually a trailhead just down from us, and I uh, got the trusty trail map here. It's a big one. <laughs> And uh, it, we're going to go to the Texana Trail, which shows to be about a mile and a tenth long and uh, leaves right here from near our campsite. So let's go check it out. Star's got her boots on. She's ready. Throughout the park, 
occasionally you'll see these little NC signs on, on a tree, usually with a butterfly. That means nature center. It points the way toward the nature center, which they are, it's currently closed, but the new one that they're building looks like it's gonna be fantastic. Here we're, we're at the Texana Trail. This is the one right here at the beginning of our camping loop. And uh, as you can see, we're going in at entry point two, because I know there's some other entry points along the way in the other uh, parts of the camping loop. So we'll probably come out another one. We'll see. at this little spot here, this fork in the trail, so to speak. There's all kinds of signage. We've got the major park sign that tells us about some of the different trails. And we've got, that way is Alligator Cove, which is a 0.72 mile trail that takes you towards uh, the front of the park. And over here, uh, it's got signs that take you to a footbridge nature stop and back towards uh, the camping area. So this is great, tons of information and a shaded bench. You know, we were just remarking that there's trash cans on this hike here, which we don't normally see on trails. There's no need for this kind of crap. There's a trash can right over here. I'm gonna get it and put it up. But you know, come on people. Throw your trash away. Not on the trail. If you're gonna do that, why don't you stay at home? Well, so far we gotta give them an A plus for signage on, on the trails. I mean, if you get lost out here, I think that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything looks like it's really well marked and well maintained so far. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna go towards this footbridge and the nature stop, looking forward to that. And a lot of folks have asked us too about what we do with hiking in the heat with Star. When we're gonna be hiking long distances in the summer, we typically don't bring her because it might get too hot for her. But this is a shorter hike and she's got her boots on, which protect her feet. And these things are fantastic. We've had them now for over a year. She loves them. She knows when she puts them on, she's getting to go with us. So it's exciting for her. And you have your water for Star. Too. And we have our water for Star. Here's my water. Tom's got his water and we have another water for Star. So we make sure she stays hydrated and cool as well. It's important to remember, they're going the same distance, but they're wearing a fur coat. <laughs> I gotta say, this is really impressive. I don't think we've been on many trails that have this many benches, and certainly not this many with trash cans. All, all along the way. Thumbs up, Lavaca Navidad River Authority. Thank you very much. Wow, this is really cool. Dark calls for break time. <laughs> Tons of shade over here. 
uh, lots of benches, lots of trash cans, great signage. The trails are in phenomenal shape. I mean, these are some of the best trails we've seen. I'm really loving it. They got some major drainage set up here, obviously. So this area, when it when it gets filled with water, boom, goes right through there, right down to here. That's pretty awesome. Wow! So right here, we're almost at the end of the trail, and this is an area. Yesterday, when we were walking around the, uh, through the campground, this bridge that goes across. The breeze coming through here is awesome. I gotta tell you, it's like 10 degrees cooler, even though in the sun's, the sun here, it feels pretty awesome. I mean, and yesterday, when we stood out there yesterday evening, it felt awesome. It was really cool. It felt like air conditioning. It must be a natural uh, cove here that gets, the wind comes through here, but yeah, this is really neat. I'm here to tell you, it's. It's very nice. Let's finish this puppy up. <laughs> I think Star is telling us she's had enough, but we made it through this trail just over a mile long. Uh, fantastic. I mean, love this trail. Look forward to hiking and biking more of this park. This is definitely one we're gonna have to come back and really spend more time exploring because this is phenomenal. <laughs> so there are comfort stations all throughout this park with uh, restrooms and showers. And if you're walking by yourself, and you need to use the comfort station. Well, you can't take your dog in, but they have a dog pole that you can connect them to while you quickly run in and use the restroom. That's a first, I've never seen that before. Works. And it's in the shade, that's awesome. Okay, just came out of the men's room very very clean and the impressive thing is we're this is Sunday the day after the 4th of July so I don't know if they've even had time to go in there and clean it but it's very clean however no showers here at all it's just a restroom and something else that's very unique about this park which is Texana and the other park which is Breckenridge is that they have long-term stays in both of these parks and uh, and you have a lot of different options there too. Some that include electricity, some that don't. And you know, it's very unique, but they, obviously the people that are here on long-term stay, they make them maintain a clean site. It's almost tough to distinguish between weekenders and, and long-term long folks. So that's pretty good. It's really neat. I tell you what guys, you never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> We are at Brackenridge Park, just around the corner from the park headquarters, and we saw a historic building with a historical marker, and you know we're gonna stop for that, right? So, this is the oldest Presbyterian church in Jackson County. This is Texana Presbyterian Church, founded in 1859 by John Adams Brackenridge. It was originally in the town of Texana, which is, or was, eight miles to the southeast of here. Texana is now a ghost town, but back in the day, it was a booming metropolis. It was the county seat. It was a major bustling river port, center for trade. And uh, so 
1859, they built this sanctuary. In 1884, they moved it to Edna, which is about seven miles to the north of where we are now. And Edna at the time was only two years old, that community. It was founded along the New York, Texas, and Mexican Railroad. Later, this church, when they quit using it as a church, they used it as a warehouse. And it now serves as a reminder, they say, of the pioneer settlers in antebellum Texas. But we took a peek on the inside and it appears it may still be in use from time to time. It's awesome looking on the inside and there are still hymnals in the pews. This church was put on the National Register of Historic Places in, get this, 1919, 101 years ago. Wow. Well, this is a nice find. Shade gazebo. It's set up high off the ground with a breeze, with a view of Lake Texana. This is on the Brackenridge side of the park. And uh, yeah, it feels great up under here. I've been watching the birds go back and forth and then there's a boat with someone pulling a tube behind them. <laughs> They're having a good time. The lake was built by the La Vaca Navidad River Authority, by the way, and that's why these parks are here. They are La Vaca Navidad River Authority parks. Very nice fish cleaning station here. This is on the Brackenridge side. Um, and it's right down from all of their cabins over here. Okay, we're over in the day use area of uh, Brackenridge Park. About to play some disc golf. And they've got a neat birding uh, information board. And it says there are two known bald eagle nests here in the park, so on LCRA property. That's pretty neat. Have to keep our eyes out. <laughs> yeah, Stacy and I are gonna go, we're, like she said, we're gonna go play disc golf. This is the first time for us that we've ever done this together. It may be the first time Stacy's ever played disc golf. Uh, no, back in college. Oh, you did? Yep. And I thought this is only the second time I've ever played. I, I played it uh back when i had my printing business way back in the day back in the 90s one of my employees was big in disc golf and we went one afternoon but i'm looking forward to this this is the third time we've seen a disc golf course at a place since we've been going full time and this is the first time we get to play it so let's see oh! yeah all right <laughs> That was good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> High five. So we finished two baskets so far on the disc golf course, and this is a nine hole one way, play them backwards, you know, to make 18 holes. Pretty challenging course. Of course, I'm not a disc golf expert, but we thought we'd tell you some unique things about this park. And the biggest thing to me is that when you stay at Texana Park or Brackenridge Park, you get two parks during your stay. You get access to both. They're right across the road from each other. And when you're staying at one, you have access to everything, all the amenities that the other one has to offer. So that is awesome. <laughs> so we finished with our fourth basket here and we're starting to get the hang of this. It's a lot of fun. Um, but Stacy mentioned amenities, and yes, it's full of amenities. And some of the different kind of amenities that we don't see at every park is obviously this disc golf course, which is a lot of fun, in great shape, by the way, and uh, mini golf. You know, they have mini golf at this park. We played that. It was in fantastic shape as well. So they also have basketball, you know, volleyball, so if you want to come do these different kind of activities, of course, like every other lake park, they got all the water type sports and you can boat here. So people do uh, ski and, and that kind of stuff and fish. 
and and uh, so this is I would call this a destination park there's just so much to do here and you know we're really enjoying it all right we're seven baskets in which would be basket 11 on the way back <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the history of these parks because it's pretty unique in my opinion this is on Lake Texana and Lake Texana was formed by the Lavaca Navidad River Authority and back in the day Texas State Parks had a 50-year lease with, Tex with the Lavaca Navidad River Authority for Texana State Park which is where we're staying right now today known as Texana Park and the Lavaca Navidad River Authority built Brackenridge Park which is where we are right now well, in 2012, the state parks were doing some reassessments and they decided that they no longer wanted to have Texana as part of the state park system. So La Vaca Navidad took it back over. Since they owned it anyway, parks, the Texas Parks and Wildlife was just leasing it. And today, La Vaca Navidad River Authority owns and operates both Texana Park and Brackenridge Park, right across the highway from each other. Tons of RV and tent camping because you got two two parks again together. Awesome. Well, we're at basket nine, so we're about at the midway point here, and uh, it's still going pretty well. And but anyway, to continue, of course, we saw deer. I mean, you don't see baby deer run by that often, and that's really cool. Um, but as far as the camping. On the Texana side, where we're staying, it's tent and RV camping. On the Breckenridge side, they have tent and RV camping, as well as they have five cabins. And I mean to tell you, they are super cool. They even had dish. So it looks like you get dish TV, you get, uh, there's swings on the front of every one of them, on the front porches. Uh, of course they have AC and everything they really really look nice and they're just on the I mean they're looking at the water so they're they're really cool so they got all sorts of options so we're over in day use area for Texana Park we've got a playground back behind me here is where they're building their phenomenal new nature center that we're so excited about you've got picnic tables and barbecue grills look at this really cool put-in area for kayaks and canoes it's a sandy beach and if you don't have your own equipment you can rent it from here this is one of the best kayak put-in sites i've seen you've got parking back behind by a public restroom back behind the playground uh, behind tom here and then an easy walk just to put right in and look how calm the water is today. So if you remember our Lake Corpus Christi State Park video from gosh a couple years ago at least now, we found the Paddle EZ program which was basically like a vending machine to rent water sport gear. and. Uh, they thought it was so cool then, and that's what they have here. So it's really awesome. You can go to paddleeasy.com, pick your park, pick what you want to rent, pay by credit card. It'll give you a code, and then you come, you enter your code next to the equipment, and it will unlock it for you. And then uh, you just bring it back when you're done. And what's really cool is these all have GPS trackers in them. So, cuts down on the theft that the parks used to face from equipment, I'm sure. I, I'm glad to see they're still doing it. That's awesome. Welcome to our campsite here at Texana Park. Let me show you around. This is site number nine. This is a 30 and 50 amp site with water. 
Uh, that's what all of the sites are here in both Texana Park and Brackenridge Park. They're all 30 and 50 amp with water. There are a few full hookup sites also in both parks. What we love about site number nine here is though it may not be on the water, we get phenomenal shade. We haven't even needed to put up our magna shades while we've been here because we're facing away from the afternoon sun with our windshield and we've had tremendous shade. And this meadow back here has been a constant freeway of deer for most of our stay, which has been phenomenal. Uh, all of the sites here, uh, for the most part, everything on Texana is a back end site. Uh, you can fit some big rigs in here, and then there are also some very small spots, so a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, on the Brackenridge side, you have mostly back end sites with some pull throughs, and we saw some pretty big rigs over on that side as well. Uh, Tom mentioned earlier that there are uh, cabins on the Brackenridge side. There are also two large cabins over here on the Texana side. Our site has a picnic table and a barbecue grill and lantern ring and that's pretty standard for what we've seen on all the parks here. This, these sites are in great shape um, and uh, yeah we look forward to coming back. A couple more things here that we want to mention we had gate access to get into the campground and that is awesome you have to have a code to get in it's also the same at Brackenridge and you get to use your same go, uh, gate code to get in over there as well that was really cool also on Brackenridge side they've got a huge a rodeo arena slash entertainment complex so if there's events going on while you're here that's super convenient to get to and enjoy yeah, and the showers here, well, not every bathroom has showers. Uh, some are just bathrooms only. They were very clean. Uh, we really appreciate the work all the staff here did. That, I mean, they are phenomenal here. Absolutely. We look forward to coming back. Yeah. Until next time, y'all. We'll see you on Wednesday. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.